Hello everybody, Steam Gamer here, and you might be wondering, why am I doing one of these? Well, due to reasons, I originally planned for there to be a lovely little video update of Phasmophobia. But sadly, due to reasons, we couldn't do that. This was a project I had in the works, I wanted to do more mobile reviews because I was getting, like I said before, reasons. Uh, you can check other videos for that. The main thing though, today we're covering Ark Knight, a mobile tower defense game with anime. We'll be going over the good, the bad, and a final verdict. I hope you all do enjoy this. Let's go over to the first candidate, gameplay. Gameplay of Ark Knight's pretty simple concept. It's a tower defense game, so of course you place down units with special terrain areas they must be applied. You can place up to 8 units on a battlefield, they all have their own deployment costs and class in a sense. There are 8 different classes and a whole lot of different deployment costs. The thing with it though that I have to say is that at first the game starts out slow but as you get into later into that round it does get kind of intense and fun. But you don't really get that to like stage 3 or when you start doing cataclysms and stuff like that. As for, well, core gameplay, it is a nice loop, in a sense. So, if you know what a gameplay loop is, you know this is a good one. The gameplay loop is quite simple and nice and efficient for what it needs to do. So, personally, I do believe the gameplay loop is a good, uh, is a good solid thing. But, there are times where I feel like it needs more work and is a little... In simple terms, kind of unforgiving if you don't have the correct units. Which I kind of expected is a tower defense game. Anyway, that's kind of been the basis of this core gameplay and gameplay in general. It's just a tower defense. I have nothing else to see on this. So let's go over characters because that's where I'm going to be spending a lot more time. Characters. The characters of Ark Knight aren't as flushed out as some other mobile games, but they're also not a pain in the ass to get. As you saw on screen, the characters you can get are very much diverse and are all, well, not just straight anime girls or straight anime boys. Very diverse, very different types of people. In my, pro in my opinion, I like these. They even come with a little backstory in a file, which if you get their trust and promote them, you can even find out more about them. Set them as operators, uh, well, as assistants so you can hear them. Stuff like that. And they all have different skills, attacks, everything you need to, you know, prioritize. But they all share one thing in common. Different classes. Ah, oh, sorry about that. The class system of the game, as you can tell, is very diverse with eight different classes uh, someone gets assigned to each one so you know where to place anyway on to the final one as you can tell with me and off here uh, the final thing how do you get the operators and the bad part of this all the rng rng as many people know, a game on phones normally tries to put some sort of way that's free to play to make money. Ark Knights has a system. Welcome to their way. Headhunt or recruitment. Except recruitment you don't pay for. Headhunt is a system where you use your Orgon Prime and Orgami, or whatever it is, to pay to headhunt. You can also get headhunting permits and that kind of shit. You do this to get operators, and you normally get four, fives, or six, sometimes three. Same can happen when you do recruits, as you see in here. The thing with this all is, recruits are absolutely free. I want to point that out. And the headhunting is kind of free, but it is a long process. You have to grind up enough Orgon Prime to do this. And how to grind it is you have a three-star level, and you get one Orgon Prime for about 180 Orgami to make a headhunt. Now, what do you do? Is there other ways? Yes, there is. Every time you pull people, you either get distinctions or accommodations. These things help you get, you know, headhunting permits, origami if you want to pull a wish, resources, that kind of shit. The game also offers, though, 
outfits which only cost Prime. And sometimes, you don't even have the character you want the outfit for. I would like to say the RNG is a bit busted, but we all had to deal with something, right? Now, on to the final verdict of us all, to tell you all what I finally think of this. Verdict. Ark Knights is a free mobile game on Android, iOS, and all platforms, and can even be played on PC using Bluestacks. Any final things I can say is there's a couple of ways to also or earn origami in this, so I'm not too hard on this unlike Ashen Impact or Raid Shell Legends when it comes to getting champions or people. Their system does feel fair, and I, I would like to say I haven't spent a dollar on this game, and I've gotten a lot of 5 and 6 star people. Hell, people I even wanted, didn't know, or people I didn't know I wanted, but later found out how useful they were. These kind of things to me is all the reason I actually ended up liking the game. Now the question is, what is the verdict of this game, and where does it belong? The game, in my opinion, lean on the fact is, the art design is great. And the characters are well done, each character feels useful, and each one and each map feels a viable strategy of a tower defense, and never and you can always plan accordingly and always have a chance to succeed, and none of it feels like you have to pay. It bumped it up good. But when you add in the story and a bit of some other problems that I didn't get to cover in this, it's clear to me the game is at least a 7 out of 10. I was thinking about an 8 or a 9 for the game because I have put over a lot of hours into it and it's a fun ass game. But the story is kind of forgettable. The only part I can remember is the beginning because you wake up and you don't remember anything. And you're a doctor. And you met by some people and you had to escape the town. But after that the story kind of starts losing a bit of traction, focusing on other things, and you kind of forget that you're a part of the story at certain points. In fact, there's not much with you involved in it. Personally, I do feel including the character in a bit helps, because in the beginning, you did feel included because you were there on the battlefield with them. Certain parts you do are given choices, which can relate to that, but still. A 7 out of 10 is the best verdict I can give for this game, and personally, I feel it just deserves the verdict. Now, what about, is there anything else I wish to bring up? Yes. Uh, there'll be other stuff I want to bring up in future videos, but the game itself is free. So I have to end, but you might be wondering, okay, the second of your bonus point. For a free game, I either take off a point or give it a point depending on how they handle their RNG system. I forgot to mention this earlier. The RNG in the game is okay. The game explicitly tells you, hey, these are your chances, and more importantly, the chances are kind of increased as time goes on with each headhunt. And recruit. Hell, there are times when I've gotten six stars from recruiting people or from just doing a basic headhunt with a permit. So, the RNG there, the fact is it doesn't feel like you need to pay for it, and you still get all these cool operators who are all useful and well done with art and voices and all this. It brings the verdict up to a 7. Originally, it would be 6 out of 10, but since it's a free to play and they've done the free to play right where it doesn't feel like, hey, you have to pay to win this level, or hey, give us your, mo give us your money, we'll give you a little bit of materials to help you. No. The only thing they do is they kind of tell you straight out. Work for these materials to upgrade your people so you can get better. And I've never once felt underpowered or that I need to spend money on this game. Maybe. It's like Let It Die to me. And I've never spent a dime on Let It Die. So. The final verdict for Ark Knights though, like I said, is a 7 out of 10. Solid game. On phones or tablets. Still has some things there that kind of hold it back. Like I said, the story and a bit of it can get repetitive at points. At certain points, the game can get repetitive and you lose focus if you're like me. But besides that, the game is a solid seven out of 10. I would recommend this if you have the space on your phone. If you're not, don't worry too much. But if you're a fan of anime tower defense, anime or tower defense, 
I highly recommend you pick up Arknights and give it a shot. Anywho, I've been Steam Gamer. The next video coming up is probably going to be a Phasmophobia if I get the recording software to work with me this time. And me and my friends will be doing that. Anywho, I've been Steam Gamer. Like I said, I'll see you on the next video. Good night, everybody. Woo! Feels good to do one of these videos again.